I'm about to experience what a first class train looks like in Tanzania. It's 27 hours long, it costs $16, and my other option was to pay $3 and be in third class. So obviously I'm going to take the first class. Safe to say what I'm looking at right now, social distancing is not a thing here in this country. There's the station. Good God. Right, wish me luck. I'm going to try find my first class cabin on the way to Dodoma. 27 hours. Good God. Excuse me. Hello. Here we go. The train that takes me for 27 hours. So the train was originally meant to leave at 2 o'clock. The time is now 6 o'clock. So I left, they said come back at 6 o'clock and he said, yep, yeah, train ain't leave until half past 8. So I've now got two and a half hours waiting, stood here. They're not even letting me on. Brilliant. That's Tanzania for you. So that train has just drove off. I have no idea why. I don't even know if that was my train. I don't know what's going on. All I know is I've got two hours sat here waiting until we leave. But I don't know which train I'm on. Not a clue. Okay, the train has arrived. And here's my place. Ugh. God. First class, apparently. Oh God. Oh no. E2. Oh Jesus. Jesus. E2. C, D. Hey, this is my room. I'll tell you what. Is this all mine? Is this all mine to myself? Sofa, bed, sink, mirror, view. If it's just me in here, I'm happy, I'll take it. However, I've got a feeling other people are gonna be coming in. But for $16, I think it is, for um, 27 hours, if I'm on my own there, I'm happy. I mean, I've shotgun top bunk, guaranteed. There's no way I'm sleeping on this. Jesus. I mean, it's pretty worn down in there, I've got to admit, but, you know, for the price, can't complain. Lambo. Well, so I'm guessing it's a uh, shared toilet, so this is very important because I've got savage, savage diarrhea. Oh, God. Jesus. Bloody hell, what's happened here? It's a jump for your life to get into the next one. This one's locked. So that's my only option. So it's safe to say, I will be taking a Stockton tablet, which fuses the stomach and stops you going toilet. There's my room, here it is. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I'm not using that toilet, no chance. I've just realised there's no plug socket to charge my stuff. I mean, I think that used to be it, but someone's tore it out. Oh, God. I mean, I don't know what these switches do. What is the point of that? I'm guessing it's for the fan, but I've seen better days as well.
<laughs> Mambo. Hello. I'll tell you what, it is hot in here. I really hope that fan does work above me because I am sweating. <sighs> Just made a crucial stop off to get some soap, ran to the shop quickly and some more water and now I'm going to stand out here until we leave because it's like, I just checked the temperature in the, in the train, it's 33 degrees and it's nearly 7 o'clock in the afternoon. It's boiling in there, so I'm going to stand here until 8 and then we leave. Okay, I think it's time to set off now. Good news, the fan is working. The lights have just come on, so I think we're going to be leaving in a minute. I'm now going to climb up to my bed and eat the pizza I brought with me from lunch today. When I just snapped that, I thought that's how you climb up to the bloody top bunk. How do I get up? Jesus Christ. Oh God, I left my pizza in my bag for like four hours. Now look at it. Oh, what a mess. Sloppy mess wrapped in tin foil. I'll be honest, I don't think that's safe to eat, but I've got no other option. 27 hours, no food. I've seen some dude walking around selling fish heads in a bag. And he went, hey, Mzungu, do you want some of these? I was like, you know what, mate? I don't think I do. So it looks like I'm eating sloppy pizza. Lovely. It's times like this where I just think, what am I doing? So... <laughs> Oh, we're moving? I think we're finally moving. It's now half past nine, by the way. So we were meant to leave at 2 p.m. It's now half past nine in the evening. Um, yeah, someone just came in and said, I'm in here as well. He says he's a policeman or something. So yeah, I'm not on my own. Gutted, absolutely gutted. Oh, right, let's do this. Jesus, yeah, we've definitely left. This is bumping around like crazy. Oh my god, there's no way I'm sleeping tonight. Oh. Look at that. Fucking hell. This is like a roller coaster. I'm not exaggerating either. I tell you, if I fall off this in the middle of the night. office in the middle of the night. My neck's gone. My neck's broken. Broken spine. Paralyzed for life. Fuck me. This is getting bad. Remember that thing I stood on and it snapped? Turns out you hook it onto this and it stops me. Well, I'm not being funny. Jesus. See what I mean? If I, oh, this is meant to stop me falling off. Really? One big bump, I'm gone. Jesus Christ! Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh. By the way, we've only been going about 15 minutes. 26 hours, 45 minutes to go. worst night of my life. Slept about. I don't think I have slept. 
That is the bumpiest train I've ever been on in my life. I've been on some crazy trains, but it's constant. It's like being on a roller coaster. Anyway, I just checked the map. We've hardly moved. I just asked the guy below, and he said it's 10 hours until I get to Dodoma. So I'm just going to lie here. I haven't been toilet yet since I got on the train. There's no way I'm going to that toilet. Safe to say I won't be getting on another train again in Tanzania. Right. I'm going to go try to find a toilet that's not on the train. I'm just going to take a piss outside. Let's do it. Right, I'm now going to show you what third class looks like. I was going to do this. So, yeah, let's check it out. Got a local here showing me the way. Let's go, mate. He said he wants to show me third class. Oh, what just happened? Where's the train gone? Have they turned around? All right, we'll go outside and um, lead the way. So which class is this? This looks like second class. This is second class, and now we're going to enter third class. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. It's busy. Oh. This, this is third class? Yeah. Good lord. It's busy, isn't it? Lead the way. Oh. Is that third class down there? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ugh. This is again third class? Okay, I get it. I don't have to go through that again. So apparently the policeman sleeps here, keeps an eye on everyone. He's got his own toilet. Yeah. Oh, he's got an he's got an ensuite. Yeah, hole in the ground. Literally a hole. Bloody hell. Jesus. So that's what um you said they're going to Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Which is how many hours? Dar es Salaam. 36 hours? <laughs> Let's say 40 hours crammed in like that. Jesus, I need to stop complaining about my um, first class seat. It's not that bad. Yeah, I'd, yeah. let's not go through third class again. You can see it's busy. Let's not disturb them. There's a guy sleeping here. Sorry, but how did you get through here? <laughs> oh, mate, I can't get through that. <laughs> Let's uh, I'll meet you outside. <laughs> so we just stopped here at this station. Um, I'm just doing a video. <laughs> yeah. Um, been here about what two hours now? Two hours? Yeah. So we've been here close to two hours. Which means at this rate, I'm going to be getting to the Domo at, it could be midnight. And I don't like traveling around Africa at night, it doesn't yeah. feel safe. <laughs> at long last, after two and a half hours, we're finally leaving again. Okay, I'm going to do my very best to stop moaning. I can see what it's like in third class. Who's that? After seeing what it's like in third class, me in here is a blessing. So I'm gonna do my best to stop moaning from now on. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep moaning. We have now stopped at a place called Tabora. 
um, I'll tag it on the map where that is, right in the centre of Tanzania, miles away from like where tourists normally go. <laughs> the looks I'm getting here whenever I pop my head out the window, they're like, hey, Mazungu! This is where I am. Just in the middle of Tanzania. But we've stopped again. We were on the right, on the, um, what do you call it? Where the trains go. On the, um, on the tracks for like 20 minutes, max. People banging on my door here. Oh. Yeah, we're on the tracks for like 20 minutes. We've stopped again. We've been, we've stopped now for like an hour. I can't even get my words straight anymore. I'm losing my mind. I'm going senile. <laughs> again surely there's not many stops left this is so oh, I can't even talk anymore Mambo. Poa. Yeah. good man I don't know what he said <laughs> we're about 50 kilometers away from Dodoma so we're getting pretty close and we've stopped look at the chaos see what I mean with no social distancing in Tanzania look at that everyone stopped to get their barbecue still here about 45 minutes we've stopped here now this is never ending, never ending. So at this rate, I'm gonna be getting to Dodoma at about 10.30 in the evening because, well, you've seen why. Okay, it's officially pitch black again. But we are 10 kilometers away from Dodoma, the final destination. 10 kilometers. It's nearly over. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, no explanation needed. The time is 10.32 p.m. That means it took 27 hours to get here in Dodoma, the capital of Tanzania. No explanation needed. I'm completely destroyed. Let me know below your thoughts on that train. And yet again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Okay, so it's the next day here in Dodoma, the capital of Tanzania. And I'll be straight up honest, one of the most boring places I've ever been. There's not much to see here. Um, looking online one of the main things to do is what's behind me which I'll show you in a minute but yeah not much to do the weather as well horrible ropey day freezing cold I never thought I need a north face here in Tanzania but um, yeah behind me is General Gaddafi's mosque one of the largest mosques in East Africa second largest the largest is in Uganda which I went to but I didn't film so yeah, 
not much else here to do in the Doma. Um, yeah, pretty pointless me stopping here after all that travel. I should have kept it going and gone straight to Dar es Salaam on the train, which is my next location. So, I'm gonna end the video here. 10 hour train tomorrow to Dar es Salaam. Bus, sorry, 10 hour bus, where I'll continue making videos. See you in a bit.